Oh, I, I would have thought so. Certainly. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, he's... Alex's preparation, this is just a part of the yep. preparation for 2000. He, he talks in terms of Olympics, and in between Olympics is the World Championship. So his preparation, this is part of the prep for, for Sydney 2000. Act like Dorney did, then you are a superstar. So that's how high he set the bar, and that's what he's working towards. Chris Fadler, qualified in lane one, 25 years of age now. National champ for five years before Clem beat him last year. Great to see him in this final. I think it's a big credit to Chris making this final. It's the 100 free and the 50 free would have to be the hardest finals to make. And if they gave out gold medals for being good, a good bloke, he'd have a bag full. Definitely. One of the nicest fellas you've ever yep. met. Scott Tucker from the USA, who finished fifth behind Clement the Pan Packs. Isn't it unusual to, to see two, not only not have two Americans in the final, but one in lane two? Mm. Normally yeah. you're looking at lanes four, five, or three, and there's a couple of them there. Definite change of the guard. This kid is hot. 49-1 as a teenager is just, oh, I can't comprehend it. He'd have to be getting tired, wouldn't he? This is his third race in yep. three days. He, he, he's, 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 swum, he's gone race for race with Michael, with Michael Klim. Mm -hmm. Heats and finals of both, with 200 free in the relays. So he's already got two gold medals. Michael Klim. <laughs> Memorable was Monday night in the 200. Can he grab this? Let me make this point again. Up until a few weeks ago, this was a bit of a throwaway event for Michael Clem. He came here for the 200 free. He's won that, and he's the world record holder in the 100 butterfly. And there's Alex Popov. Doesn't he look confident? He is awesome. And what about tactically in this race? Does Clem need to be in front of the 50? I think it'll be a race where he just needs to worry about himself and... and I, the thing is, Alex has got that much speed. If he wants to use it, then it could, might not be a good thing to be in front of him at the 50, if that makes any sense. Now here's a guy who knows all about chasing Alexander Popov, the bronze medalist in Atlanta, the silver medalist in Barcelona, Gustavo Borges. Very rhythmical in the water. He's got one of the best techniques I've ever seen. Prolander, the silver medalist at the European Championships, behind Popov. And just to give it a bit more enormity for Michael Quinn, what he's about to undertake, I believe Alexander Popov is the greatest sprinter ever. Throw Biondi in, throw Mark Spitz in, Mike Wynn and whoever you like. Before this race tonight, as we sit here right now, Popov is the greatest. Zubor, he swam a 52-9 this morning. So, this is it. We're set to go. Showtime. Popov in five, Quimmers in four. And already this crowd is finding voice. This should be a big one. We remember the dual pop-off and Gary Hall. And a contrast in techniques as well. Yep. There's a new challenger on the block now, and pop-off has got to put that challenge down. Michael Klim, the star so far of this meet. Pop-off and Klim, side by side. There's a hush. And away, and Clint got a very good start in lane four. Popoff immediately up and stroking over his shoulder, and Popoff has taken the early lead. Clint trying to go with him. Borges not far away. Van Hoogenband is coming through as well in lane three. It looks like Michael's doing it a little tough to stay with Alex at the moment. It's a different swimmer in Popoff in the final tonight. They were out in 23-8 this morning. Watch out for them to be quicker tonight. As it is, they go round 23-5. It is on. Well, Popoff is looking smooth in second place. Van Hoogenband and Coming on now is Clem. Popov is hard to beat in this situation. He's out by a meter. Clem is working hard, trying to go with him. Popov looking terrific. Popov, rhythmical. He's out by half a body length. I think the Australian dream is going to fall short. Popov is going to win. Clem is hanging on. Feidler not far away, but Popov wins. Very tight for second. Clem got second. And third would have been Frolander across in lane seven. 48.93. Alexander Popov has gone under that magical 49 barrier yet again Klim second in 49-2-0 and once again he's made his family proud Michael Klim but the man is still Alexander Popov great to see Chris Feidler the other Australian breaking 50 seconds as well that is a superb swim by Chris Feidler
Well, it was quite decisive in its way. We talked about the challenge. Well, he snuffed it out. And they're closer than a lot of people will realise when you see how hard Klim was charging. But he is the greatest ever. I always think back to that final in Atlanta when Gary Hall seemed to have him everywhere but on the wall. He finds a way of winning, doesn't he? What I want to know is what did Gennady Turetsky, who trains both of them, tell them both to do before their race? I think maybe go out and enjoy it. Well, here they are, the gold and silver medalists talking with Lindley Frame. Congratulations, Alex. Back-to-back -back world championships and a championship record. You've got to be happy. Oh, uh, I don't know yet. Haven't realised it yet. Still, still swimming. <laughs> Michael, were you aware of each other during the race and before the race? No, not at all. I mean, I was really concentrating on myself during that and I could only see the, you know, a faint white sort of splash on the right-hand side, but I, I briefed the other side, so I didn't really see him. Okay. Congratulations, both of you. It's wonderful. Well, I've gone one, two, as we expected. Thanks Alexander you, Popoff, the defending champion, the Olympic champion, prevails at Challenge Stadium.